What is going on guys, Salato here bringing you guys part 3 of the Battlefield 1 Ranger skill build uh, guide. Now, before I actually begin uh, building skill builds for you guys live, um, I do have to tell you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. And uh, that's everything, every single skill build that I'm going to be showing you guys is only based on my experience from Camping Battlefield 1 and also it is only my opinion. If you guys want to try out any other skill builds other than the ones that I'm going that I'm going to be showing you guys you guys are free uh, free f feel free to go for that but uh yeah and of course before I start making some skill builds for you guys um, I do want to tell you guys a little bit something just a little heads up that uh, each skill build that I'm going to be showing you guys are I'm going to be uh, categorizing them from best to uh, the cheap alternative so the best are always going to be that's going that's going to be like the best alternative you can use uh, when you're up against that specific class be it a ranger warrior or a mage and uh, the cheaper alternative is uh, if you can't afford it, like a skill book then go for the cheaper alternative but uh, now that all now that that's been said let's go ahead and start building some skill builds here but uh um, of course before we actually start building some skills we got uh, we have to get to know our what skills we're going to be working with and uh, what they do so first up we're we have here double shot uh, in double shot, I think it's uh, just uh, self self explanatory. It's basic skill. It wastes uh, two rage crystals, and uh, the damage increases um, by the amount of points you put in it. Uh, and uh, for the skills you guys see, I am not putting uh, like level like let's say for example concentrate concentrate. Um, Battlefield one rangers only get it up to level three. Level four is not implemented. As for um, what's it? Uh, for example, like weakness, uh, weakness one, weakness two. Only a battlefield one ranger can only get the uh, maximum limit of two. So weakness three, I am not adding it. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be reading every skill here. Um, just I'm gonna just let you guys take a moment to read these skills um, for a second. And uh, because if I do start reading them, that's gonna take a little bit of time. But yeah, double shop your basic bread and butter as well as imp your support skills. You got ensnare, weakness, and um, Shift and uh, as well as uh, pretty much everything is a support here besides your bread and butter, which is uh, impact shot and uh, double shot. And double shot raises two rage crystals. Uh, concentrate uh, the three minutes. The minutes you see three minutes for concentrate is the duration. It lasts for three minutes. It uh, it costs ten mana every no matter what level you put it at. And thorns lasts for two minutes. And uh, the, the cooldown is uh, relatively low, one second, so you can put it on, on many things. And the mana, I think I forgot to place the mana, but I. Pretty sure it wasted the same as concentrate 10 um, MP, and uh, shift is only cool time decreases uh, the more skill points you put into it. But uh, the, the limit is only out at level two, and it wastes five mana. As for ensnare, level one is only implemented. It uh, it wastes 10 MP. It has a 25 second duration and the cooldown time uh, cooldown time of eight seconds. So every eight seconds you can. Uh, spam this skill and uh, impact shot has a five second cooldown time and a it lasts two seconds and of course the damage increases uh, the like if you have impact shot one is twenty percent additional damage and uh, for those of you guys that are rich uh, on the game and you guys want to put a skill point into uh, impact shot uh, level two um, your damage is also going to increase as well as your stun so you're gonna get a little bit more damage and a little bit more uh, stun. Uh, lasting so and uh, last but not least we've got weakness here um, weakness lasts for one minute and it's uh, you can one second cooldown time you can uh, just like thorns you can spam this skill as much until your mana is uh, wasted but other than that we already got to know our skills so let's go ahead and move on to our first skill build and uh, the first skill build is going to be PvP versus a warrior so um, let's go ahead and before we actually put any skill points into our damage dealing moves we're gonna go ahead and put it onto our main skill which is going to be thorns so we're gonna be adding three skill points to thorns here and uh, of course every class on battlefield one uh, we we have ten skill points to work with so now that we added three points here we have seven points uh, left so um, like I said we're gonna be adding three points uh, adding three points into thorns because thorns is basically uh, the rangers most uh, powerful utility move because um, when you're up against a warrior, every time the warrior, uh, you just use thorns on yourself, every time a warrior lands a hit on you, he's going to be taking 8 damage. So that's uh, really good. Extra damage, chips of damage. Now we're going to be adding some skill points to double shot, which is our main damage dealing move. And like I said, um, I'm going to be showing you guys the best skill build when um, when you're up against a warrior. And then I'm going to be showing you after this the cheap alternative when you're up against a warrior. For those of you that cannot afford double shot IV, which costs us like 40 million. <laughs> 
it really depends. They're 40 million, 30 million, 35 million. Uh, it depends if you know the person. But yeah, moving on. Uh, four points added into double shot. So that's going to give you, uh, like I said, bread and butter, 160. And uh, double shot IV only works good um, if you have like a plus 9 longbow with you or higher. Plus 9, plus 10. A plus 8 longbow with double shot IV, uh, it's going to do decent damage. But uh, not as much as a uh, plus 9. So if you guys are going to go for double shot IV, make sure you have a plus 9 bow. Other than that, I don't really recommend going for double shot IV unless you have like a plus 9 bow. But um, let's go ahead and let me give me a second here to find weakness. So we're going to be adding 2 points into weakness. So that makes 4, um, 7, 8, 9. Weakness 2. So uh, weakness 2 is going to help you to reduce that armor. So... Um, you have you're gonna you're you're gonna you're going to have a plus nine longbow with a double shot IV as well as thorns and as well a uh, weakness. You're gonna be reducing the warrior's armor by four, so that's gonna be you're gonna pierce through that warrior really good. You're gonna pretty much um, if you have like critical pods, just <laughs> I don't think it really depends. You gotta talk to other people, but two points into here to decrease that armor to give you a uh, better piercing. And uh, for the last skill point, I'm gonna be putting one into impact shot so where is impact shot so there we go so we're gonna be putting one um, point into impact shot just to keep a little distance between the war uh, the warrior you're gonna be facing and uh, it really depends if the warrior has parry then uh, your impact shot might get blocked most of the time but uh, we're just gonna be adding one point into impact shot just to give it that, uh, give us that stun as well as that little bit of damage not really that much damage to warriors but yeah this is the best skill build guys you can go when you're up against a warrior um, you, you're gonna have to this skill build wastes a lot of money but I'm gonna be showing you guys also the cheap alternative so for the cheap alternative um, if you guys can't afford impact shot uh, level 4 or um, weakness uh, level 2 so the cheap alternative is pretty pretty simple just take one point away from um, double shot and just put it into ensnare so um, if you guys can't afford double shot IV this is the cheap alternative here I mean weakness 2 I'm pretty sure every one of you can afford weakness 2 it doesn't cost them much it depends on the server like 70k estimated even lower 50k 45k it really depends uh, you can also go farm it it's a really easy drop so this is the uh, cheap alternative guys so you're, you're basically just removing one skill point from double shot IV and adding it to ensnare so you now uh, for the cheap alternative you have ensnare and uh, that's basically going to allow you to keep your distance from a warrior uh, pretty useful skill I mean if you have double shot IV you don't really need uh, ensnare because you got double shot IV <laughs> you don't pretty much you don't have you don't need to keep your distance so this is the cheap alternative and uh, if you guys uh, once again if you guys can't afford weakness uh, weakness too then just pretty it's pretty simple just take one point from oops sorry about that just take one point away from weakness too and then just add it to shift so uh where is shift can't find it where's shift where's shift okay there we go so this is also a cheap alternative you guys uh aren't able to uh, get weakness too. just go for uh take one point away from there and go for the shift so this is the cheapest alternative you can go for the cheap, uh, pretty simple bread and butter um, skills. The most expensive skill here you guys are gonna have to waste money on is a uh, storm street. But other than that, this is the cheapest. But it's really recommended to um, to have weakness to always have weakness too when you're facing a warrior because um, it reduces full armor. It's self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, moving on to the next skill build is going to be um, up against a ranger one versus one. So let's go ahead and start putting our. Um, our main skill here which is thorns uh, once again utility we have that ranger when you're up against a ranger thorns 3 is uh, is incredible it's a really incredible move uh, skill sorry not move but it's uh, yeah thorns 3 when you're up against a ranger ranger versus ranger it's a really really good utility move uh, the rangers t rangers basically take too much damage uh, if you if you click on double shot you're gonna be taking 16 damage because double shot lands two hits it's two arrows so you're gonna be taking 16 damage just by clicking your double shot but um, other than that, let's go ahead and put a 1 into our imp. Not imp, where's double shot? Uh, double shot, there it is. So we're going to be adding 4 points and uh, into our double shot, so that makes 7. And uh, once again, I am going to be showing you right now the cheaper alternative. So uh, first I'm showing you the best when you're um, up against a ranger. So that's 4 points added into double shot, 3 added into thorns, so that makes 7. Now we got to add... Uh, where is it at? Two points into imp, so that's four, seven, eight, nine, and then one point into weakness. Whoops. 
that's pretty self-explanatory. In Snare, you do not need a Snare when you're up against a Ranger, um, because you're both long range and he's not going to be running away <laughs> most of the time. Um, and Concentrate is pretty much useless, I just put, I just added it there just to, uh, because um, I need to add the skill Creo so Concentrate, you never need Concentrate, not even on Battlefield. Ship, you do not need Ship, so this is the best skill build when you're up, uh, when you're going up against a Ranger and of course if you cannot afford double shot IV and you cannot afford uh, M2 it's pretty simple just take one point from double shot IV and remove one point from impact uh, 2 and then um, just go ahead and go for concentrate where's concentrate um, just add two points into concentrate so that's three six seven eight nine ten and uh, yeah, if you guys can't afford weakness 2, go ahead and uh, remove one point from concentrate and put it into weakness 2. And uh, that's pretty much the cheap, two cheapest alternatives. Um, here, give me a second. Just let me take away one point here and add it into weakness. There we go. So that's pretty much your second uh, cheapest alternative. But uh, other than that, um, it's really recommended to have your uh, thorns 3 as uh, on every skill build itself when you're up against a mage when you're when you're always fighting a uh, warrior or a ranger you need your thorns 3 to reflect that damage but uh, moving on to our next skill build uh, give me a second okay it's only been 11 minutes that's uh, not that much but uh, moving on to our second skill build we're going to be talking about when you're up against a mage so when you're up against a mage thorns 3 does not activate guys so keep that in mind thorns 3 does not work on mages so Three points if you if for any of you guys that did not know that, <laughs> or if, or if you guys are beginners into camping Battlefield One and the game, uh, just a heads up: Thorns Three does not activate when you're fighting um, up against mage uh, magical based attacks, which is um, a mage. So Thorns Three is useless here. But uh, we're gonna be adding. I'm gonna be showing you first the best skill build when you're up against a mage, and of course we're gonna be adding four points into double shot IV, two into M2 and uh, 2 into weakness that's gonna 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then adding 2 points into concentrate so where's concentrate? 9, 10 so that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so this is the best skill build you can utilize when you're up against a mage sorry about that I, I just ate but um, yeah other than that like I said this is the best skill build you can utilize when you're up against a mage and yeah let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, cheaper alternative so we're gonna be removing some points not some points but one point from double shot so that makes one so we got one free spare point so we're gonna be removing, uh, removing one from there and adding it into where it is concentrate okay and then like I said this is a cheaper alternative so we're, uh, we're gonna get be getting rid of that and where's the other one and it really doesn't matter if you guys for like for the cheap alternative um, for the cheap alternative just always make sure when you're up against a, a mage you have weakness to at least weakness to like I like I keep saying it doesn't cost that much money you can farm it in less than like an hour if you're farming whoopas you can go farm it in less than an hour so always make sure you have weakness too when you're fighting any of the classes because it it, re it pretty much really helps you out weakness too uh, except for battlefield battlefield when you're up against uh, when you're when you're playing a battlefield you do not need uh, weakness too but uh, yeah this is the cheap al the cheapest alternative you can go for guys and uh, that's three six seven eight nine um, or, I don't know just add one into I guess shift uh, we're shi I don't know, just add one to ship or switch it around. Uh, it really doesn't matter, thorns, whatever. But uh, pretty much, you all you need is a uh, weakness to, like I said, your best support skill for when you're up against a mage. But uh, other than that, moving on to the battlefield skill build. Now, for the battlefield skill build, this is the best. This is basically the best skill build you can use when you're um, playing battlefield two. I mean battlefield one. So that's four, five, six. Where stones, 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 stones. 7, 8, 9, and then put one into... On. Ensnare. I mean, you can go for the shift, but uh, shift is pretty much useless because uh, Ensnare is always going to be better unless you're uh, farming for bosses. Uh, shift is your go to, uh, way to go skill, but other than that, Ensnare is uh, your best because it, um, it combos with a lot of things and it also stacks uh, 
It also stacks like if, a, if you have a warrior as a frontliner and uh, he uses drowsiness, you can go for ensnare and it's going to stack the slow effect. But uh, yeah, this is basically the best skill boot for Battlefield. You can go for uh, Double Shot IV, M2, Thorns 3, and Ensnare 1. That's basically 10 points, the best you can use. I mean, that's if you're rich enough. And uh, like I said, if you're going for Double Shot, shot IV, make sure you have a plus 9 bull uh, to use it on because that's going to be... That's gonna do a lot of heavy damage. Enough said. But um, let me sh go ahead and show you guys the cheap, uh, the cheap alternative. You, if you guys cannot afford uh, the M2 and the double shot IV, so we're gonna be removing one point from double shot, uh, from double shot IV, and uh, we're gonna be adding it into shift. So we're shift. Um, there we go. Just, uh, just to get more like survivability with shift, just to escape, chase as well. So uh, one point into shift. And then removing one into whoa, what happened here? But yeah, um, let's see where's imp. There it is. So removing one point into imp, and then just adding it into concentrate, or not really concentrate. Uh, where's shift? Getting two points into shift. Concentrate, like I said, you do not need concentrate for any of the skill builds. Uh, it does not improve your accuracy. The uh, the percentage you see for uh, for concentrate. If you guys are wondering why. Um, why not put any any skill points to concentrate is because the percentage you see um, it does not increase your uh, hit rate by two percent, four percent, six percent. It only means like the two percent, the four percent, the six percent. It uh, the percentage only means the probability of you landing a hit. It, it's um, it does not increase your hit rate. It's just a probability. Uh, hit rate is always going to be way better. Two. A bowl with two hit rate is always going to be better than the uh, um, the concentrate level one. So just keep that in mind, guys. But um, yeah, this is basically the cheapest alternative you can go for double, uh, for Battlefield One. Uh, double shot three, uh, thorns uh, thorns three, imp one, shift two, and uh, ensnare one. That's the cheapest alternative. And like I keep saying, uh, I did not add weakness uh, weakness the weakness skill on the Battlefield right here. If you guys are wondering about that, is because like I keep saying, you do not need weakness on Battlefield One. Uh, it's pretty much useless. Not uh, not Battlefield One. When camping Battlefield, like on the Battlefield game, uh, I mean, if you're up against like PVP in one versus one, um, then that's a different story. You're gonna need weakness. But other than that, uh, that pretty much sums up all the skill builds, guys. If you guys have any questions about the skill builds, uh, just feel free to uh, message me on my YouTube, leave a comment on my social media, Kakao, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, I'll be sure if you guys do. By any chance, contact me. I'll do my best to uh, reply to your messages as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, one more thing: if you guys have your own skill build for a ranger, or um, any opinions on how to improve a skill build that I mentioned here for you guys, uh, just feel free to post your skill builds on the comment section. Uh, I think we would all love to um, benefit from that, like I'm doing for you guys, showing you guys the best information for the, so that you guys can get uh, better on campaign. On um, Battlefield 1 as uh, as a ranger and a warrior, mage, etc. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. And as always, if you guys are enjoying my content, be sure to leave a like on the video and uh, just leave a comment. And if you guys are uh, really love my channel, just be sure to smash the subscribe button to be part of the slow for coup. Uh, I would really appreciate that if you guys also share my videos to uh, to your friends, to your buddies, because. Um, it it pretty basically pretty much helps me out and uh, yeah guys I think um, probably by tomorrow I'll be uploading the mage uh, skill build so be tuned for that since I am going to be explaining a lot of details for you guys for the mage skill build but other than that I think this pretty much finishes the video thanks for tuning in guys and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.